When you think of being in a place where you have lots of beautiful soil, basically we're on what I think is an old coral bar as we're about 10 miles from the ocean and it's just a hillside that is pretty much gravel and the soil is shallow. This is kind of what our soil looks like rocky and so what I started out with because there's very little soil is I started out planting banana trees um, which are the basic of centropy in tropical natural farming and centropy is to mimic what the forest does now this is really cool the the banana trees have done well when we planted them they were each just maybe a three foot long trunk that had had the roots mostly chopped off and the top chopped off. So I dug a hole and put soil in it that I got from a neighboring area and just stuck that banana tree in the ground. And this is about a year ago. So we have these gorgeous banana trees growing. But what's happening is they're running out of nutrients and some of the leaves are turning yellow. And so I've been learning about Korean natural farming, which is really amazing. What I've done is I've made a formula to pour on the plants and start developing the roots. I've also made some of the other Korean natural farming formulas that I'm going to begin foliar spraying and regular watering with. But for today, this is what our banana trees look like and our centropic gardening area and this is the rest of our yard and I've also got an area with tomato plants in this area this is the area that gets the gray water from our showers and kitchen sink and so it really has grown well we've had a huge bunch of bananas off this one tree and we've eaten about 10 papayas off this other tree so it's really an exciting Thing that we have going on. We have a baby cacao tree growing here that I started from a seed from a neighbor's tree. So let's look at the formula that, that I'm going to add today to help the roots grow. Korean natural farming was developed by Master Cho, a Korean man, and he was the teacher of Chris Trump and many other people. And then Jadam was developed by his son. And so the practices are similar. Um, that they have varying names to things, etc. So what I did is I made a really simple Jadam formula, and let's see how this looks. It's been fermenting about 48 hours, and part of the idea of getting the microbes going is that it will begin to nourish the roots in new ways. They'll grow new root hairs, and they'll be able to pick up nutrients better. So this is really beautiful. It's bubbling away there. You can kind of see it is you want to do it when the, the microbes are alive and active. So this is a combination cooked potato and soil from an area in my garden. So there and you put each one of them in a cheesecloth bag and hang them and kind of squeeze them into the water. And after about 36 hours, I actually dump them into the water. So it's a continual mixture. And then I've added a number of the other Korean natural farming formulas, maybe just an ounce each of the FPJ, which is the fermented fruit juice, of the humic acid, which is from worm water. I added some of my IMO, which is my fermented rice. You might, that's fermented with microbes. You might think of it sort of as a living miso kind of, but a living miso of the microbes of the forest. And so this is really cool. I am so excited. It is so beautiful. And then this is to be applied at 20 to 1. So it would be 1 20th of this formula, which I have in a 5-gallon bucket. Take a quart of this to 5 gallons of water. So I'll have 20 5-gallon buckets. And I'm going to go around to all my garden areas. Here's the area with my tomatoes in it. I actually have tomatoes growing. There's tomatoes on the tomato plant and some little blossoms. So everything is doing well. Um, OHN, which is the herbal protective formula. I had just an early phase tincture of that. So I put a little of that in here. 
So I put a lot of the different Korean farming natural formulas into this. So we're going to take one quart out of here and put it in this five gallon bucket of water. And we're going to take that and dump it on, my, on this area here where my tomatoes are. And then that my entire centropic area, I'm going to go along. Heartbeat of the uh, heartbeat. Mold and fungus that's growing in there, that's what you inoculate this with. So I've kind of tricked it a little bit. I've grown my own IMO um, uh, microbes from the little bit I could find in the area on some rice. And then I've added a little bit of that to this potato dirt formula. And then I've added a little humic acid soil. So this is going to help the roots grow. And into more little tiny root hairs. And then I've actually also used a little bit of plasma water in this as well. So we're kind of combining everything that we know and turning it into something that hopefully will produce an Edenic kind of garden here. In the womb I feel the heartbeat of my mother. In the womb I feel protected and safe. In the womb I feel the heartbeat of my mother. In the womb I feel the comfort and love, sweet love. Hey, let's go do more in the back. Let's go do more in the back. Heartbeat of the earth. Heartbeat. Heartbeat of the earth. Heartbeat. If you're feeling kind of down and you need some inspiration to remember who you are Whoa now child, please don't frown You can choose a new vibration and these words can take you far I am a 21st century superhuman And I know that the answers are inside 21st century superhuman now, now, now is the time.